between now and Election Day, we're trying to give you some special insight into the man who would be president by putting the same series of questions to both Barack Obama and John McCain. We call it Presidential Questions, and the first question tonight was suggested by the online community, dig.com. Describe a situation when you think it's appropriate to lie to the American people. I don't think it's appropriate to lie to the American people. I, I mean, you can, you can put together a hypothetical where uh, there is a national security emergency that is imminent and you don't want to provide, for example, the location of our troops. Uh, you don't have to lie in those situations. You simply say, uh, we're not answering questions. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate to lie. And I think that uh, one of the things I want to change about the culture in Washington is not just the big lie, but also the, the soft lie, the, the, the fudging, the manipulation, the spin. Um, if we can restore a sense of trust between the American people and their government, we're going to go a long way to, to changing the country for the better. I can't imagine it to start with, because I, I, I just think that the one thing you have to have as president is your credibility. I guess you could draw a scenario where Americans were facing a threat to our very existence and you had to not have them panic or something. I'm thinking out loud here, you know, but, but frankly, I think I, I don't know of any really reasonable or logical scenario where you, would, where you would feel compelled to lie to the American people. What about in a national security situation? Yeah, I was trying to imagine that. But if you deceive the American people and you want their support and you want them to, to beat back this national security challenge and you don't tell them the truth about it, then I think they become disillusioned. That's happened in the past. And so, you know, in Vietnam, the Vietnam, for yeah, the Vietnam War, the lights at the end of the tunnel turned out to be a train. Uh, I think one of the reasons why America came out of the Great Depression is that Franklin Delano Roosevelt went on the radio all the time and had the, quote, fireside chats and said, here's what we're facing, but here's what we're going to do. And every time the great presidents, including some I really admire, have not told the American people the complete truth, then they've paid a price for it. What is your favorite movie of all time? Viva Zapata. It's a movie made by Elia Kazan. Um, it was one of the trilogy of Streetcar Named Desire and On the Waterfront and, v and uh, Viva Zapata. Marlon Brando stars in it. He plays Zapata. It's a heroic tale of a person who sacrificed everything for what he believed in. And there's some of the most moving uh, scenes in that movie uh, that I've ever seen. And one of them is he gets married the night before, on his wedding night, and he gets up and he and Gene Peters are in their uh, hotel room, this little room, and she said, what's the matter? And he says, I've got to go to Mexico City tomorrow. I've got to be with Pancho Villa and Madero and these people. He says, I can't read. And she reaches over and takes the Bible from the, from the table and opens it up and starts in the, in the beginning. It's a great scene. It's a great, and there's many others that are wonderful too, especially when he dies, when he, when he, he gives everything for his country and what he believes in? Oh, I think it would have to be The Godfather, uh, one and two. Um, three, not so much. Uh, so, so, but, but, but that, uh, that saga, I lo love that movie. Do you have a favorite love those scene? Movies. Uh, you know, th so many of them. I, I, I think my, my, my favorite uh, has to be, uh, um, you know, the opening scene of the, of the first Godfather, where, you know, the Emotion caretaker shocking. comes in and, you know, Marlon Brando's sitting there and he's saying, you disrespected me, you know, and now you want a favor. Sets the tone for the whole movie. Then you know, all hell breaks loose, yeah, right? right. I mean, there's that combination of, of old world gentility and, you know, ritual with this savagery underneath it. It's, and it's all about family. It's, it's a great movie. Um, Lawrence of Arabia, great film. One of my favorites. And then Casablanca. You know, who, who doesn't like Casablanca? I asked for one. I, I'm a movie guy. I, I, can, I can rattle off uh, a bunch of movies. But Casablanca, that, you know. 
To hear the candidates' answers to the questions we've asked them so far, go to cbsnews.com and just click on presidential questions.